Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy, right down here, and we're taking a look at the Phalanx leaked gameplay here. This Pokemon, by the way, is one of my absolute favorite designs that I've ever seen inside of Pokemon Unite. I'm so excited to break it down with you. Sometimes I think when you're just watching the footage, we might not know exactly how everything works in its kit. So I'm gonna give you everything we know about this Pokemon in this video. I love you, yeehaw, let's do this thing. First off, Phalanx has a few things with its boot, its basic attack, and and it's passive. It's passive is called battle armor. When the Pokemon takes critical hit damage, that damage is reduced by 50%. So I'm very sorry, Absol, but we needed a Pokemon to counter you. But of course, there are so many critical hit Pokemon in the game that this will do a great job of fighting. Uh, Phalanx is a group compromised of the Brass and five troopers. They utilize three formations, Column, No Retreat, and Dispatch. We'll talk about formations more here in a sec. When a move is used in No Retreat or Dispatch, the effect of the move changes. This Pokemon can also hold five Aos energy more than other Pokemon because of each little message member of your troop, which is a really nice little effect, right? And also you're gonna win a game at some point specifically because of that. And people are gonna be like, are you serious? Did we just lose because failing scored 110 instead of 100? Uh, your basic attack is a boosted with every third uh, or after you use Tackle, Mega Horn, or Iron Head. So you have a lot of boosts. You know, there are a lot of Pokemon that sort of, after you use a move, you get a boosted, you know, Lapras, after you use Water Pulse, boosted, things like that. This Pokemon has that as well. The boosted uh, attacks uh, will slow your opponents, and also it will lower the cooldown of Tackle, Mega Horn, or Iron Head by two and a half seconds. So they seem to have kind of long cooldowns, but it's not too long. Right after you hit a boosted or two, it's basically back. Let's talk about your early moves here really quick. Uh, we have Tackle and we have Bulk Up. Like most Pokemon, your early moves are simple. Tackle has you charge in a designated direction, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon and shoving them for a half second, and your next basic attack becomes boosted. And then we have Bulk Up, which gives you increased attack by 30%, defense and special defense by 25%, and basic attack speed by 25% for three seconds. So nice little moves, early, good for brawling. And interesting things about this Pokemon, it has different scaling for its basic attacks, uh, and it looks like it's based on which one of your little guys is actually hitting your opponent. So you're going to have some really interesting situations where multiple guys could be hitting your opponent, or it looks like possibly one member of the Phalanx is hitting your opponent. And it could be, you know, whichever one is going to do the most damage with your auto attacks. Cause we only see one burst of the auto attack happening right there. I'm very curious to see exactly how that will work, but it's possible that the tail of your Phalanx is going to be able to still be hitting opponents even if the head of the phalanx isn't doing the damage your first move is mega horn that we see in this video you charge with horns dealing damage to opposing pokemon and shoving them immediately afterward the user charges with its horns again and gains a shield when the user is in no retreat it charges power before charging with its horns dealing additional damage to opposing pokemon based on max hp which is I mean, so amazing looking. When the user's in dispatch, the troopers who are away from the column will also charge with their horns along with the brass. I don't believe we get to see this in this video. So on the public test server, this is definitely something I am going to want to test out. This thing does a lot of damage. It scales at your attack stat of 550% when you're in no retreat. I think that's the highest scaling I've seen in the entire game. I'm curious if, if anything is higher. It is so crazy powerful and you know, you get a nice shield with it. Uh, Mega Horn and no retreat is, it's when I fell in love with this Pokemon for the first time. We'll talk more about No Retreat in a sec. As you can see, No Retreat has this Pokemon positioned to not be able to see this Absol, but he's able to reposition it there with Mega Horn and try to attack the other way. He did miss right there, but No Retreat sets you up in this sort of formation, this like Phalanx formation, and then you're able to use Mega Horn to do absolutely absurd damage right here. Ooh, it's Unite move. Oh, it's Unite move. All right, we'll talk about that in a minute. Here's a great example of that Mega Horn and No Retreat hitting right there. I'll show that really quick one more time. So he moves in, goes into Mega Horn, No Retreat, and then immediately right back into a massive Mega Horn for like 3K damage at level nine. Like this is very, very cool. Mega Horn Plus will also give you a bigger shield for this move. A lot of all-rounders lately getting some pretty big shields and Phalanx is one of them. 
We've got to talk about no retreat. So you switch into no retreat formation when you use this. Uh, you can't change the direction you're facing. So you have to make the decision of where you're going to face. Uh, your movement speed when moving backwards is decreased by 10%, but your attack is increased by 40%. I know. And the damage you take from the front is reduced by 10%. If this move is used while the user is in no retreat, the user will switch back to column formation. Uh, yeah, I'm just like so pumped for no retreat. You have, you have no idea how pumped I am for no retreat. It just seems so incredibly cool. The upgrade version of this increases your attack by 60% and reduces damage taken from the front by 20%. Now, obviously, you're going to be a force to be reckoned with, but you're not going to easily get to your opponent. So you're going to have to find good opportunities to use this and do insane damage to them. But I, I just absolutely love seeing this combination here for Mega Horn and No Retreat. Our next move here is Iron Head. Okay, so Iron Head has the user attack a designated area with its steel hard heads, dealing damage and slowing Pokemon by 50% for one second, huge slow, as well as granting itself a shield. If you're in no retreat when you use this, the range is shorter, but the attack uh, area of it is widened. We don't actually get to see that in this video. The next four basic attacks can be used while you're moving after you use Iron Head. When the user's in dispatch, which we do see in this video, Video. Dispatch troopers return to the column when the user attacks with this move. So you can kind of like send them out and bring them all back. The returning troopers shove and deal damage to opposing Pokemon they hit on their way back to the column, which you're going to see in this. I mean, dang, I love that they designed this Pokemon like this. It's so freaking cool, man. Uh, the plus version of this, uh, the troopers attacks deal additional damage to opposing Pokemon based on the Pokemon's max HP. So it's actually good for shredding really, really tanky Pokemon on the enemy team. So you're seeing Iron Head here with Beat Up. Let's talk about Beat Up here for a second. Beat Up is pretty interesting as well because that's what's going to send your Pokemon out. Uh, you charge in a designated direction, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon. The user switches to Dispatch formation, sending out two troopers towards the opposing Pokemon hit. The Dispatch troopers continue to attack. So you're kind of setting up this area where your little minions are attacking enemy Pokemon. The Dispatch troopers will continue to attack the opposing Pokemon for a while, but they will return to the brass after they take a set amount of damage or become separated by a certain distance or greater. You have two uses in reserve for this move, so you can send out your you know troops a couple times here. It seems just so incredibly cool. And then it combos, obviously, with Iron Head, but it also combos with Mega Horn as well. Uh, with Mega Horn, when you're in Dispatch, we don't see it in this video. The troopers who are away from the column will charge with their horns along with the brass. So you could probably set up some really cool situations with that. Just like we can't see Iron Head uh, when we're in the no retreat formation, which would be really cool to see too, because it could do absolutely insane damage. What we're seeing in this video, of course, is going to be uh, beat up with Iron Head. And now we can talk a little bit about this Unite move, which is just... I don't know why, this Pokemon feels like it's something out of Mario Brothers, and at the same time, it feels like so perfect for Pokemon Unite. I just, I'm so stoked that they've got this. All right, let's talk about your Unite move. Your Unite move is very cool. We'll scroll back in the video a bit so we can take a look at it while I talk about it here. Your Unite move is Dust Devil Formation. The five troopers run continuously around the brass at great speed, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon and decreasing their move speed for 20 percent by one for one second while this move is being used damage taken by the troopers is reduced uh it gives you a max hp shield and some movement speed and it's going to be really interesting to see you know does this move perform a lot like whirlpool from uh azumarill where when you use this move you actually are doing more damage if you're kind of walking with it so like moving against the way the the your little phalanx your troopers as they call them in this game are moving it would be really cool if that was the case so you'd be able to sort of walk with your opponents in a specific way to do extra damage to them that would be very nice we don't actually get to see that super well in this video but you do get to see how beat up an iron head is able to just absolutely clear some of these wild pokemon and just the idea that you'll be able to send some of your pokemon 
at the enemy is just so freaking cool. I mean, that's like this the beat up feels like your ice climbers situation right here. It absolutely does. That's a lot of what we know about Phalanx. Obviously, I'm sure there are more interactions that we're not able to see because we're not playing it directly. We will be playing it on the public test server here very soon. But that's just about everything we can do to break down what's going on with Phalanx before we're actually able to play it. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you like this sort of more in-depth breakdown on this Pokemon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I love you. I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm. Nerf phalanx. No, don't, 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 don't. <laughs>